welcome to Apostolic Archive. We have gathered many wonderful sermons through the years and we have decided to share them with the world. We hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video and comment with something you take away from this message. Also, hit the bell below so you can receive an update as soon as we upload new content. Blessings. Hallelujah! 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 Praise God! I feel like I'm in camp meeting tonight. Praise the Lord! I believe God wants to bless us tonight with a real beautiful blessing. How many of you want a blessing tonight? I'm talking about a real good blessing. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a blessing that will saturate your soul with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I tell you, I feel it coming on. Praise God, I feel it coming on. Hallelujah. We are past the warming up stage. Amen. Our back burners are on. We're on fire. Praise the Lord. Let's sing us a good chorus right now. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh, I feel victory here tonight. Praise God. I feel victory. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit here tonight. Praise God. I'm telling you what, if we can't have camp meeting this year, then we ought to close down these campgrounds. Praise the Lord. Not because I'm here, but we have a mighty visitation of the presence of God. Brother, Brother Tenney said God is trying to speak to us. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And he's trying to tell us to be prepared for his soon coming. I want to be ready when he comes. I said I want to be ready when he comes. It would be a tragedy to be in Pentecost as long as I have been and to be lost. That's why I'm determined to give God everything that I've got. Everything that I've got. Because I want to make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there somebody in this house that loves God enough? That you can say with a loud voice, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now listen to me tonight. You said it, but you said it a little bit too fast. I want you to say it like I do. I love you, Jesus. Say it again. I love you, Jesus. Say it again. I, hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a good hand now. Praise God. Praise God. In the word of God, the 32nd chapter of the book of Genesis, if you please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I appreciate Brother Creel and the way he's worshiping the Lord tonight. I've always enjoyed having him on the platform when I'm preaching. He encourages me to preach the word. Amen. 
I appreciate all the wonderful preaching that we have heard this day. I'm telling you what, if we can't get excited over what we have been hearing, then we need to ask God to help us. We need help. Hallelujah to God. Now, I hope I can preach tonight. I just hope I can preach. I'm feeling so good that I might do more shouting and more running and more dancing than I might do preaching. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, I just feel it all over me. Amen. And there is a wild spirit coming over me right now. visitation of the presence and the power of God in our midst. Praise God. I believe if we will worship God as we should tonight, we're going to see miracles take place. You're going to see your prayers answered. Your bodies are going to be healed. You're going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Right where you are, God is going to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to be a participator tonight. Wave your hand to the Lord. And say, Lord, help me to worship you tonight. Help me to worship you tonight. Come on, keep on saying it. Help me to worship you, Lord. I want to worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. First one is six. Thirty second chapter. The book of Genesis. A very beautiful portion of the Word of God. And he said, Let me go. For the daybreaker. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be no more Jacob but Israel. For as a prince, Thou hast power with God and with men. And notice these words. And have prevailed. Hallelujah. I will not let you go except thou bless me. Thou hast prevailed. Everybody said, praise the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. The Lord bless you. There is an excitement in this verse of scripture. There's a real ring of excitement in these words. Especially when we try to understand the setting of the lesson. And when you begin to realize that a desperate man was seeking a way out from a terrible dilemma that he was in, a dilemma of his own doing, a man that for over 20 years lived in the land of broken vows. A man that had a mighty vision.
visitation from the Almighty God 20 years prior to this time. After 20 years of not doing the will of God, after God had prospered him, he had the urge, as most humans do, to return to his home. As he approached the borders of his country, the news came to him that his brother Esau, whom he had defrauded of his birthright, his brother that willingly sold him his birthright, but yet he was sorry for doing so, and he had never forgiven his brother for his act of deception. He heard that Esau had one desire, and that was to kill Jacob. Jacob was running from his uncle. He was between a rock and a hard place. He could not go forward because his brother with the intention of killing him was there. His uncle was very angry because of the act of deception that Jacob just performed in his uncle Laban's home. And while he was in that dilemma, and while he was in that frustration, there came a feeling upon him. And that feeling took him back to the night that he slept away from home for the first time. And he had that beautiful experience. We call it Jacob's ladder. When the angels ascended and descended and he was blessed in such a beautiful play, way that he said this surely is the gate of heaven yeah. yes. hallelujah uh, and he decided that my only way to solve this problem and this dilemma that I am in is to go to the God that I remember blessing me over 20 years ago Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you just a little bit tonight. Isn't it amazing how a man that has been running from God for 20 years could make up his mind that I need God. There is no other way out for me. I have tried everything, everything so far has failed, and I have tried my own ingenuity, I have tried my own human reasoning, I have tried my own conniving, I have tried my own acts of deception, but now I have come to the conclusion that I need God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you right now, that was the greatest decision that he ever made in all of his life. And if you are sitting here tonight, and you have not been where you ought to be with God, and maybe you have not lived as you should have lived for the Lord, and your back is pressed against the wall, and you don't know which way to turn, and here comes the adversary with his cheap 
and lying psychology. And he tells you, you cannot go to God because he will not hear you. You don't dare enter into the presence of the Lord. He will not allow you to be blessed. Don't you ever believe that? Hallelujah. Here is a man because only of the act of desperation and because he had no other place to go. That was his only hope. Therefore, the last hope he had was to run to God. And what I like about it, it wasn't just a few moments after he divided his families, he found a place for prayer. And it was just a few moments when here comes God, hallelujah, a beautiful theophany. God came as man and God took a hold of him, hallelujah. And when he recognized God, he took a hold of God and he placed a death grip on God. And he realized, oh, this is my only hope. This is my last hope. There is no other way out but God's way. And I'm hanging on to God. And I'm not turning him loose. Hallelujah. My text tonight is, Lord, I need a blessing. Hallelujah. Lord, I need a blessing. I need one tonight myself. I want a blessing. Hallelujah. And there is something on the inside of me that broke loose a few months ago. Something just broke loose on the inside of me. And I woke up one day and I was so hungry for the touch of God on my life. Hallelujah to God. And I'd wake up early in the morning and I couldn't sleep. Oh, thank God. And I'd just get in my car and I would go to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I began to get a hold of God like I've never wrestled with God before. And I said, God, I want you to forgive me for wasted years. I want you, God, to realize that I have always loved you with everything that is within me, but I have never shown it as I should. Hallelujah. And if you will forgive me, hallelujah. If you'll just forgive me, oh God, if you'll just have mercy on me, oh God, if some way, somehow, you can overlook me, I'm coming to you now with an act of desperation. I'm coming to you now, a desperate man, needing God, hallelujah, hallelujah. And friend, I was praying one morning, and all of a sudden, the joy of the Lord came all over my soul, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was by myself, hallelujah. Next thing you knew, I began to skip around the church. I began to feel the presence of God. And oh, friend, I broke out with a deep, deep move of the Spirit of God. I couldn't speak anymore, but it's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Something broke loose. Hallelujah. And you're looking at a man that's not the same again. And you're looking at a man that'll never be the same again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I want a blessing. Say it. I want it now. I want it now. Woo! I want it now. I want it now. I want it now. I want it now. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't care who you are. It makes no difference. Hallelujah. Desperate. Undeserving. Desperate. Unworthy. Desperate. Needing God. An overwhelming feeling. I've got to have you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next thing you know, God. Now God is talking. And God said, please, let me go. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Here is little old Jacob. Just a worm of a man. That's what the Bible says. And here is the God Almighty himself. And he had a hold of him. Hallelujah. And friend, Jacob had such a death hold on him that God said, man, turn me loose. Let me go. Not on your life. Hallelujah. Not on your life. Not on your life. You know what he was doing, Brother Anthony? He was testing his desire. He was testing his desire. How bad do you want that blessing? How bad do you want that blessing? How bad do you want revival? How bad do you want the move of God? How bad? How bad do you want it? Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want revival, Mother Glass. But it's not going to come through wishful thinking. And it's not going to come the first morning I decide to go pray. And it's not going to come after the first hour of prayer. Oh no. He's going to test our determination. <laughs> You're going to test your determination. You're going to test your desire. You want revival? Here you got the death grip on God. He says, let me go. And friend, too many times... We did let him go. Hallelujah. But I have a, a different feeling today. There's a different feeling. <laughs> There's a different feeling in this campground. There's a different feeling in the hearts of the Pentecostal preachers. God is speaking to our hearts. And now we have a death grip on God. We have a death grip on God now. And God says, let me go. And you say, no way, God. I'm not about to turn you loose. There is only one condition that I'll turn you loose on, and that's when you bless me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only when you bless me will I turn you loose. There is no other condition. Hallelujah, oh God. Whoa. Hallelujah. You want a blessing? I said, do you want a blessing? Do you want a blessing? You can receive it tonight. You can have the desire of your own heart tonight. God can heal you right now. God can fill you right now. God can deliver you right now. God can set you free right now. God can place the joy of the Holy Ghost in your heart right now. Hallelujah. You can pray through right now. He told him, Wakanda Maha. Woo! He told him, Totoro Wakanda Maha. Woo! Hatayaha. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ha! Ha! I'm not gonna let you go. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna let you go. No. I ain't gonna let 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. For a little bit. Hallelujah. Our blessing is determined upon our desire. I have what I want and no more. God will never force himself on me. He will never give me more than I ask. Never. Never. But from somewhere, somehow, something is going to burst on the inside of us. And we've got to go to the Beatitudes. And we've got to lift up one of the Beatitudes that Jesus spoke. And he said, blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be satisfied. Hallelujah. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not satisfied yet. Oh, no, but I want a bigger dose of the supernatural in my life. Hallelujah. I don't want to be super holy, but I want to be super sensitive to the touch of God on my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't need to be super holy. We need to be super sensitive to the touch of God on our life. Hallelujah. I want to hear his voice. I want to be led by his spirit. Hallelujah. I want that electrifying relationship with the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me go. The very embodiment of the Almighty God that spoke the world into existence, that took some mud and made man, breathed in his nostrils and made him a living soul, that God was begging mortal man, let me go. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, friend, he could have disengaged himself real easy. Hallelujah. There is no power that can overcome the power of God. No mortal man can wrestle with God and win. That is an impossibility. But it's because of his desire to bless. <laughs> he wants to bless. If I could just get that over tonight. He wants to bless you. It's his desire to bless you. He died that you may live. And live the more abundant, exciting, full life. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He could have knocked his hands off. He could have pushed him away. But it was his desire to bless. He wants to bless you, brother. He wants to bless you, sister. Hallelujah. He wants to give you the desire of your heart, ma'am. He will not withhold any good thing from you. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you delight yourself also in the Lord. He said he shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, if you abide in me, 
and my word about in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ask what you will. Ask what you will. And it shall be done. Hallelujah. He wants to bless us. Hallelujah. How many times have we walked feeling alone? How many times had the adversary convinced me that God doesn't love me anymore? How many times have you gone to prayer and the enemy says he doesn't hear you? Just because you don't feel exactly right in the flesh. Hallelujah. Or maybe you're going through a trauma. Or you're going through a trial. And you can't feel exactly right in your own mind. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't make any difference. that your feelings don't count the only thing that counts is his feelings and the way he feels towards you is like he preached yesterday morning he loves you so much that he gave everything that he could possibly give that you may receive everything that God has for you in an abundant way hallelujah hallelujah I want a blessing now say it how many of you have received your blessing? Have you received it? Have you received it? We've got to go on because everybody hasn't received their blessing. What are you waiting on? I want you to get it right now. We're going to get our blessing tonight. We're going to get it. This is our blessing night. This is it. This is our night. This is our night. Hallelujah. God is here. I want you to feel it. I want you to believe it. I want you to accept it. He's here to bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the creel, they didn't wrestle one hour. wrestle two hours no he wasn't three hours either no. hallelujah it was the battle of the wills it was the crucifying of the flesh it was dying to earthly desires it's saying goodbye to things that have had their hold on you for many years hallelujah 
It's the crucifying of yourself. It's the committing suicide to the old man. I've never seen anybody just decide one moment they're going to commit suicide and the next moment do it. No. They take time. They study it. They think about it. A long, long, long time before they decide to drive to that bridge or before they decide to buy the bullets for that gun in that house before they decide to turn it against their temple oh yes they think a long time because there's something about life we love it and regardless of how desperate we are we still love life and it's difficult for us to arrive to that point in time that we are going to take our life and it's the same way with killing this flesh and allowing the Spirit of God to overcome it we've got to die and it takes contemplation it takes thought it takes deciding it takes wanting to and you never let it leave your mind you're continually thinking about it God I've got to get a hold of you God I can't live without you God I've got to have revival in my soul God I've got to have a blessing God I've got to walk closer God I know there is a real beautiful walk with you and I want it I want to be an overcomer hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And after a while, God said, I've had enough. I'm tired of wrestling with you. And he said, you win. That's what he said. He said, you've prevailed. My God, have mercy, Brother Anthony. <laughs> Man, wrestling with God. Then God says, calf rope. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God said, I've had enough. <laughs> You've won. <laughs> I've lost. <laughs> but you know why he lost? Because he wanted to. <laughs> because he wanted to. <laughs> it's because he wanted to. Have you ever taken your little boy and wrestled with him? You could have thrown him across the room, but you wanted him to feel that he was strong. And you wrestle with that boy, and you make him feel like he really won the wrestling match. It's the same thing with God and us. Hallelujah. He wants Jacob to feel good. Jacob, you gave it everything that you had. And because you did, I'm going to give you everything that I've got. Hallelujah. And I'm going to change you. I'm going to change your name. You're going to be a different person. That's what I want. I don't want to go to prayer and leave prayer the same person. Hallelujah. But I noticed one thing. It takes time for the change to come. You see, the reason I'm preaching like this, because I believe that God is trying to get us ready for the greatest move of the Spirit that we have ever witnessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. Uh, I tell you what, I want to have the right spirit. When Brother Chris will get the Holy Ghost in Dallas and receives the Holy Ghost and start baptizing his people in Jesus' name and they start receiving the Holy Ghost. I want to be prayed through and prayed up because I might have to answer some questions that he's inquiring about hallelujah and when he comes to me I don't want him to listen to a theologian <laughs> I don't want to listen to the voice of man I don't want no arguments that come from my human reasoning 
I want an answer that is bathed in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bathed in the Holy Ghost that when I open my mouth, he can feel something. He can feel life. <laughs> Hallelujah. For the word of God is alive and it giveth life. Hallelujah. You've won. I give up. It's all yours. You can have it. I know you have been a scalawag for 20 years, you rascal you. I know you've promised me a lot of things that first night, but you didn't do a thing you promised me. I know that. I know it. But you cheating outfit you, I like the way that you're approaching me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I hear the voice of repentance. <laughs> I hear the voice of repentance. And I hear the voice of sincerity. And I hear the voice of honesty. And I hear the voice of truth. Hallelujah. I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> and I'm going to accept it. Hallelujah. And I'm going to bless you. You're going to be changed. That's what I need. That's what we all need. A good changing. I'm not calling us back. God forbid. I know that every one of these beautiful ministers are living for God and loving God with all of their hearts. And I doubt if any of them were as negligent as I was. But I'm telling you right now. God is trying to take up the church through his ministry and place us on a higher dimension so that we began to delve in the spiritual things of God that will bring to us the meaningful things revival like we've never seen it before I tell you what I'm anxious for I'm anxious for to take someone by the hand and say stand up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes. hallelujah yes. someone that is crippled yes. out of his life yes. hallelujah I want to see visible signs of healing. I want to see visible signs of the power of God in action. It's my prerogative. It's my privilege. I can have it. Jesus will give it to me if I will hold on to him long enough without giving up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name. Hallelujah. Say it. I want a blessing. I want it now. I want it right now. Hallelujah. He walked in the presence of God of Scalawag. He left the prince. He was marked for life. And if you don't think you're not marked, you're wrong. You can hide it. You can call yourself anything you want to. You're still one God, Jesus' name, tongue talking, penny talk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone said, Brother Kershaw, change the name of your church. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can change it. I don't think it's wrong. But I said, five minutes after they walk in, they're going to know a bunch of Pentecostals. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just five minutes. Praise God. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. You know why? When we walk into the house of God, we walk in there for a blessing. Hallelujah. We walk in there for a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless me now. Bless me now. Bless me now. Bless me now. If you haven't received your blessing, stand up right now. You're going to get it in the next two minutes. Come on. You're going to get it. Stand up where you are. Stand straight where you are. You're going to get your blessing in the next two minutes. I feel this in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I feel it in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's get a hold of God right now. Come on, I will not let you go. 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 Hallelujah. I will not let you go. Except you bless me. Except you bless me. Bless me now. Bless me now. Bless me now. Bless me now. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, become desperate before God. Come on, become desperate before the Lord. Come on, become desperate before the Lord right now. Come on, become desperate before the Lord right now. Come on, this is camp meeting 85 in Louisiana. This is camp meeting 85 in Louisiana. Come on, if you don't have place to worship God, get it out of the aisle. Get out of the aisle if you like. Get out in the aisle. Let's get a hold of God tonight. Hallelujah. Get out in the aisle. Get out in the aisle. Get a hold of God. Come on. Come on, saints. Let's get a hold of God tonight. I won't let you go. 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 Come on, backslider. Come on, he loves you. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, backslider. He told Yamaha. God is in this place. God is in this place. Come on. Come on. All of you preachers, start ministering to people around you. Lay hands on them. Pray for them. Come on. God is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless me now. 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 Hallelujah. Bless me now. I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I will not let you go.
let you go. I will not let you go except you bless me. Come on, saints, get a hold of God tonight. Come on, saints, get a hold of God tonight. Hallelujah. me pray for somebody around you pray with somebody come on pray one for another let's have some prayer circles back there Lord I need a blessing Backsliders, come on, backsliders, come on, hallelujah. tonight. Amen. Oh, come on. Yes. That's right. That's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's have some prayer circles. Let's have some prayer circles. Come on. Let's have some prayer circles. Pray one for another. Jesus, step out in the aisles and minister to hungry 